know hallelujah is the highest praise amen i am just so excited today is going to be testimony i mean i've heard people say you know without a test you know you get a testimony a mess got a message etc etc well today god has supernaturally set us all up to just kind of whew, go into those closets in our past and our lives because the scriptures say you overcome by the what what did it say? The blood but, of the Lamb. Blood of the Lamb and, and the, the word, word of our testimony. testimony. Amen. Right. Today I have my co host with me. I am so blessed to have you. Thank you for coming. I right, do. This is Pastor John Paul Martinez. And he, you got a testimony. I know you got oh, a testimony. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, Amen. I do. Amen. Amen. God just did so much with you, huh, Pastor. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Now, is he still doing something? Yes, he still will be. Okay. He still, <laughs> still, still every day, every day is another test. Another, another, every day is another test for me. But, you know, with him, I know I can get through that test. Amen. As the calling before, as I saw, uh, yeah, he just brought me from a mess. Yeah. Brought me from a mess. He delivered you from a lot of stuff. Just to yes. maybe tell our audience a couple of things that what has he delivered you from? Well, I was bound by uh, by crystal, by gang banging spirit. I was bound by prison, and how many of us know that you don't need to be in prison to be in prison? Amen. You know, some That's of us right. are just bound by just can't get out your house, just can't get off your bed, just can't get off your couch, That's just right. can't get a job. Yeah. Yeah. You know, those are just different things that we're bound by. But see, the Bible says, when the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. And that's what, just, that's what God did to me. Actually, what happened with me is just I had a, a personal encounter with God, and that was on the freeway. And just before that, um, the officer of the day, my professor, had, had gave me a, a little slip to go to a Christian home. And, you know, that was the last thing I wanted to do was, you know, I'll be honest, was to serve God. Amen. You know, because I just coming out of prison, I had the mentality, you know, I just wanted to go get high. I just wanted to go back to the neighborhood. But see, God had a different purpose for my life, just like he has a purpose for your life yeah. also. Yeah. You know, and uh, the Lord spoke to me that day, and he said, you know, uh, he told me, well, the wages of sin is death, or you can choose eternal life. You know, and I told my mom on the freeway, you know what, I don't think we're going the right way anyways, because you're taking me to L.A. when I stay in San Bernardino. You know, but what happened was, is she made a U-turn, and I went to a little Christian home in South Whittier, and I gave my life to the Lord. And, you know, from that day forward, he just started changing me, started changing me. And to this day, you know, um, I came in with nothing, and today I have something, you know. I have a car. I have my own place now. You know, I got a beautiful wife, you know. And you know what? Uh, those are things I never thought I'd get. I, those are things I never thought I'd have. But through God, all things are possible, and we got to know that. The Scripture says, just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, and you will be saved. But that's... So, Pastor, what you're telling me, that this word really works. Yes, it does. It works. It's alive and Amen. active. So, there's somebody out there. What would you have to say to them right now? You're saying the word works. It changed your life. So, yes. give them a word of encouragement. What, talk to them. What, what do they need? Okay. What would be the first step, A, B, C, or just something that you can hold on to? First, you got to believe. Okay. you got to believe. Okay. And see, that's the thing that when I stepped into that little room in South Whittier and the men's home, you know, um. I stepped, I stepped in there and I said, you know what, I've tried about everything else. Yes. You know what, um, let me try Jesus. And let me tell you, when I said that sinner's prayer and I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart, the Holy Spirit came into me. And see, what the Holy Spirit does is gives you power. It gives you strength. See, I, I battle with addictions. I, I battle with so many things, just like some of you are bound with a lot of things out there. But when I invited that Holy Spirit into my life, I started seeing a change, not just in the way I was, but in my thoughts and in my actions. And, you know, that's all I needed to do was accept them. That's all you need to do is accept them. Yeah. You know, that, that's, a, that's the biggest part is believing, and you've got to want to change. Yeah. If you don't want to change, it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah I, I wanted to change. Yeah. I, I was tired of going back to, to that prison. I was tired of, of sleeping out there in the rain. I was tired of going from house to house, you know. Yeah, I had an encounter yes. with God, and He changed my life, just like He could change your life. Amen. That's the honest Amen. truth. So, ladies and gentlemen, Fasten those seat belts for change. Amen? Right. Amen. You can change in Jesus' name. Now, you know, God has set us up, and we have some pastors here. Pastor? Charles and Sandra Woody. Amen. Yeah. Of Cornerstone. Cornerstone Celebration Center. Yeah, in the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we want to welcome you to the broadcast. Today is testimony day. Amen. I'm not going to tell you guys my testimony this time. I'm going to got guess. <laughs> okay? But praise the Lord. You know, I want to thank you again for being on the broadcast and today's testimony day. Amen. Mm -hmm. Testimony time because we believe God that we're overcome by the blood, the blood of the Lamb, Lamb and the word of our testimony. Yeah. 
So, Pastor, why don't you just maybe say hello to the uh, people on the other side of the camera, tell them where your church is, and then go in a little bit into your testimony. Or do you want your beautiful bride to go first? Yeah, let her go first. Okay, say, yeah, that, say who you are, where your church is, the address, and then tell a little bit about your testimony. Um, my name is Sandra Woody. Um, our address, we're from Cornerstone Celebration Center. Our address is 11819 Corley in Whittier. And my testimony is that when we got married, we've been married now 36 years, but we got married when he was 15, I was 17 what? when we got married. Did she rob the carry on? No, <laughs> it was robbing <laughs> it. Robbing <laughs> it. <laughs> well, she was 17. Now yeah. Was like, yeah, yeah, that's still okay, in there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so um, what happened is that we got married, but he got into the gangs early. You okay. know, um, the gangs dealing drugs um, also... Uh, we just had a lot of gang violence in our home, the shootings. I w was really, really consumed by all our, um, the problems, you know, all the problems that come, the, the shooting, I had my kids. Mm -hmm. um, what happened was that I went to church and I didn't raise my hand to get saved. Yeah. My mother-in-law asked me to go, my sister-in-law took me. And when they asked for the salvation, my sister-in-law raised my hand for me. Wow. She raised my hand for me because I was so consumed. I used to daydream really bad. And um, because we're already married like nine years of, of nine years of all the stuff that was going on. Wow. And um, what happened was when she raised my hand, nothing happened. And I remember when the people that take you to the side and give uh -huh. you a Bible, I went with them. They gave me the Bible. We did the sinner's prayer again. Uh -huh. And when my mother-in-law dropped me off, all of a sudden, I felt like I was on a cloud. Wow. And I was walking on a cloud all the way inside. And wow. I, I don't ever, I had never remembered ever feeling yes. peace in my heart. I was miserable, even as a little yes. girl. Yes. I never had any peace. So then I said, you know what? That's what I want. And I'm going to go for yes. it with everything I had. Amen. So once I got saved and I started going to church, two months later, he, he came and um, started going to church. He backslid after so many months and um, I remember telling the Lord I thought once I received you mm -hmm. that I was never gonna have to go through that again Wow! but God spoke to me and I never knew that that was him but I heard a voice saying if you put me first yes. you'll never have to go through this again Wow! well Beautiful. not knowing what I was gonna have to go through because of having to trust in God in the place of still the gang violence still the dealings he used to take me and me and my kids and he used to lock us in the room or lock us outside so that the guys could party in the house. Wow. And we started having Bible studies at my house. Wow. Our pastor was cool. And uh, we started having Bible studies at my house and he used to be dealing and dealing out the back door during Bible studies. Wow. So we were having all this go on and he used to go and um, mess, with, you know, start doing all the drugs before the Bible studies uh -huh. so that when the guys came, they used to come and pick up. But what the, at uh, our church, there was this one lady in our church that took me under her wing and she started teaching me how to fight the enemy. Yes. And how to take authority yes. of what, you know, what the word says. So right. she started teaching me the word and how to fight against the enemy. So that's what I started doing. But you know as well as I know that the enemy doesn't kick back and says, oh, look uh -huh. at this. Yeah. She's going to start boxing you. Mm -hmm. And one thing that she taught me is that when you're in a boxing ring, she goes, if you go to the fifth round, she goes, you lose. But if you go all the way, yes. you're going to win. Amen. And so having to trust in God in that, I've seen miracles because of it, because I had to lean totally on God. Yes. And I didn't really want him in church. I didn't wait, want wait, wait. him. You didn't want him in I church. I didn't want him in church. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. She did not. <laughs> now that's different. Yeah. 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 Didn't want him in church. No, Why? I didn't. Why be didn't you because want him in church? every time he would show up at church, he would be telling me stuff oh, and okay. telling me stuff, okay. and it's like so it was, it was more. That was my place of peace. Yeah. So him to go and be telling me stuff during Bible studies and what the pastor was saying, yeah. then he would say that's not true and just yeah. be sitting uh, there. Yeah. Just not too pastor. The Bible no. crashed.